waves and it's great to be back finally in the den. I've been away for a couple of months so I thought I'd get back into it and uh, do a small unboxing and I'll let you know what's been going on for the last couple of months. As you can see I have not shaved or touched the face. This is two months growth. Right, what have we got? Guys, ah. I've had this I've had this for weeks and I just haven't had the time or the energy to um as I say I've been I've been ill. Um so I've left it to now. I have broke the seal, cut around it. I hope this isn't too bright, I haven't got natural light coming in. So let's get opening it. If I can, it's still a bit stiff. So how's everyone been doing? I've missed you guys. I Honest to God, I really have missed all of you. I've missed doing the shaves, I've missed doing the videos, but I, I've been quite poorly. Oh, invoices there, you don't need to see that. Ready? It's a Simpson! I'm excited to see this. I can't get it over, I'm out of practice. I've got no nails. One thing I have done is uh, trim the nails. <laughs> right. Simpson instruction card for care and use. It is a bit bright, isn't it? Oh. Ready? Look at that. What a beautiful handle. Stunning. And this is the Simpson Chubby 2 Platinum Fibre. And the handle is the Sapphire Candy Blue. And no two handles are the same. They're all individual. 27mm knot. I think it's got about 51mm loft on it. Nice grip, nice comfortable feel in the hand, nice bit of backbone there to um, lather out, out the puck. And there she is, limited edition. I'll put a link in the description um, to the site where I got it from Simpson. Looking forward to using this. And it's going to be used in the next shave. Right, that's the unboxing over it. If you want to carry on watching, feel free, but you don't want to know what's been going on. You don't have to watch it. Right, <coughs> if you're still here, <laughs> thank you. Um, after the last, I started feeling a little bit unwell on the last shave. And I was at the shave and I started my new job that day. And I got home quite late and through the night I couldn't sleep. I was vomiting, um, dizzy. So I couldn't go into work. I was off, I was, I, I got a virus, I caught a virus, not COVID. It's, this, this was, COVID's nothing compared to this virus, what I had. And I was bedridden. I, I was bedridden for about two, two and a half weeks. And um, I couldn't focus, I could barely open my eyes. I was weak. Um, I was on strong antibiotics. And it, it, it kind of disappeared after three weeks. But then all kinds of symptoms started happening with, with my, mainly my brain. Um, I got took into hospital. I had to have an MRI scan, CT scan. I was uh, pumped full of um, was it ins not insulin or fluids because I was dehydrated. I couldn't eat or drink or keep anything down. But what, what's happening right from the right hand side of my neck on my skull, into my eye socket was excruciating pain and I couldn't open my eye. And um, I got took in and had scans because they thought I might have had a bleed on the brain. Um, they scanned me for blood clots um, in your body and everything as well. Uh, and it was just um, the damage, if you like, uh, or the aftermath of the virus. It, it was lingering, it was going, but it was causing all these kinds of problems. So I was on medication for that, um, more antibiotics. 
and it's just been a it's been a slow road to recovery. Um, I'm still not 100%, but I am a hell of a lot better than what I was. I'm more mobile now and everything. I can walk the dog and everything. And uh, yeah, so, but during me getting better, oh, you can see what's left. It's still a bit red and everything. I don't know if I've been bitten or something, but I've got a, a, a cyst on my elbow and all my elbow inflamed. I couldn't move my arm properly, so I had to go and get it drained. And everything that's that this is healing up nicely so that's put a little little tiny cut in there to to drain it off um uh, but that's much better now i can move my arm and i was going to do a shave um uh the end of last week my dog mason the, the rottweiler he's massive now he's he's seven and a half months old and he, he He's over six stone, he, he jumped up and knocked me over. I pulled a muscle in my back. That's cleared up now. I've been treating that with painkillers and then um, gels and everything. So that's it, guys, that, that, that's where I've been. And thank you so, so much for the people, for your, your private messages and your emails, um, asking how I was and everything. And thank you guys for st sticking by. You, you know I wouldn't disappear without telling you if anything was gonna happen. So, uh, yes, I'm here, I'm back, Ho hopefully things are back to normal. Obviously, I lost my job and I've, hopefully I've got another job now. I'm going for a meeting today and I should start on Monday. Um, Self-employed again. Um, yeah, that's it. And th there's been a bit of worries of uh, Mrs. B's health has de deteriorated a little bit. We now think she's got ADHD, she has to be tested for. So Mrs. B's had to pack in work as well for the time being. So it's been quite stressful. So, but yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> right, that's it guys. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video of trimming this um, and I'll just basically show you what, what I use and how I do it. I'm gonna trim this back, ready for a shave. So that's it. So I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Until then guys, stay smooth and stay safe. Thank you so much again. Bye now.